Afternoon guys. Welcome back to the Pathfinder School's classroom area. I'd like to take an opportunity today to discuss a new product with you guys that has just been released. It's a product by Waterford Press in collaboration with the Pathfinder School to go with their DuraGuide system. These are eight pamphlets based on survival priorities that are based on the Pathfinder system. We've just completed these pamphlets with Waterford Press. They are now available on our website. They will be available in 23 nationwide Bass Pro Shops on May 20th. If they are not available in your local sporting goods store, you can request that they order them through Waterford Press. They're also available on Amazon.com. What I'd like to do is I'd like to kind of walk through these with you today. And like I said, there are eight pamphlets and they are Wilderness First Aid, Building a Survival Kit, Shelter Fire and Water, Signaling for Rescue, Basic and Primitive Navigation Skills, Improvised Hunting Weapons, basic tracking and improvised trapping. These pamphlets all fit very, very nicely into the Pathfinder haversack. You can see that in the top pocket of the Pathfinder haversack, they slide right in there in that top pocket and then you can put all of your other accoutrements in there with that. When you're out on a scout, you'll always have them with you where they fit very nicely into a backpack as well. So let's kind of walk through these things one at a time give you guys a little bit of a tabletop review. They are wet right now because I just pulled them out of the creek. They are 100% waterproof and they do float. So stand by with me real quick and we'll get them out one at a time and kind of poke through them. Okay guys, first guide here is Wilderness First Aid and it goes through and discusses all of your priorities for first aid in a wilderness situation. It's got a lot of good information on here a lot of good descriptions on here, a lot of good illustrations, up to and including all of the common ailments that you would experience in a wilderness situation from a twisted ankle to snake bites, ticks, hornet and bee stings, bites from bats and things of that nature, other mammal bites, and it goes through all of those things in priority. And I think that that's a very good guide, and that should be the first one that you're looking at. Obviously, in our survival priorities, self-aid is number one. The second one is building a survival kit. It walks through and discusses the five C's, the 10 C's of survivability. It goes through and has illustrations of different techniques, different things that you can carry. Talks about survival kit essentials. Talks about cutting tools, combustion devices, and on down the line for all 10 of the 10 C's of survivability. Describes what you should carry in those items as far as what you should be looking for for durability, what you should be looking for for versatility in each one of those items. The next guide that we have is shelter, fire, and water. Again, in survival priority level. Again, this one walks through and talks about how to build different shelters, how to collect water, how to make fire, different ways of building shelters, different ways of making fire, different uses of tinder, all of those things and some different acronyms that I use when I teach as far as showing people how to act and dress in cold and hot weather. Signaling for rescue. Talks about different things that you can carry in your kit to signal for rescue and different ways of doing that. Talks about different ways to improvise things that you might have with you that you can use to signal for rescue. That's <coughs> Okay, signaling for rescue. This one goes through and talks about all the different ways of signaling for rescue, what you carry in your kit that can be used for signaling, what you can improvise on the spot for signaling, how to set up different types of signal devices, signs from aircraft and signs to aircraft, along with basic essential kit items for signaling for rescue in an emergency. Basic and primitive navigation skills. Again, it walks through all of the basics with you on how to navigate primitively as well as how to use a little bit about how to use a map and compass. Remember, you can only get so much in a guide like this, so they're not real in-depth with map and compass, but they do walk through some of the basics. Talks about how to make sun compasses, how to use the moon to navigate, how to use the stars to navigate, how to read a topographical map, how to take a bearing on a topographical map, how to improvise compasses in the wild, and things of that nature. Improvised 
hunting weapons. The improvised hunting weapon one walks through and talks to you about what you can use that's currently in your survival kit to improvise for weapons, how to make weapons from natural material, what weapons should be your priority to make and why, which weapons will be most effective for you in what areas, along with things like how to fish, how to catch small game, but this is covered even further in the trapping pamphlet like this but this talks a little bit about fishing as well it talks about how to make cordage different plants that you can use for that purpose it's a very good little pamphlet tracking basics really goes into more of sign tracking and landscape tracking talks about lower food chain resources shows you some different scats and tracks of small game animals as well as some larger predators talks about different types of animal sign and what to look for for that type of animal different habitats that they live in, and the easiest way to look for those type animals. This is very important if you're going to trap anything or if you're going to hunt, you need to understand basic landscape and sign tracking to effectively make that job easier for you. And then the last guide is improvised trapping. It goes through and talks about all the different ways to make very simplistic traps for both mammals and fish. Talks about the lower food chain resources, talks about trapping small animals, talks a little bit more about scat and different types of layers and dens and things like that, shows a little bit about how to butcher and process animals, talks about again lower food chain resources and bait types, talks about different types of traps to make for catching small mammals as well as fish and how to process them and cook them to preserve them for later. I think that these guides are a very good asset to the woodsman a very good asset to anyone for their bug out bag or their survival pack. You can see that they fold up very, very small. That is all eight of those pamphlets. It's smaller than one book. It'll fit in a cargo pocket or like I said, it fits right in the top of the Pathfinder haversack or in the top pocket of your backpack very easily. Improvised trapping, basic tracking, improvised hunting weapons, basic navigation skills, signaling for rescue, shelter, fire and water, building a basic survival kit, and wilderness first aid. Those pamphlets, as I said, are all available in Bass Pro Shops May 20th. If you cannot find these at your local bookstore or at your local sporting goods outlet, you can ask them to order them for you. They are available for order from retail stores nationwide. They are also available on Amazon.com. They are also available at www.thepathfinderschoolllc.com and that is the only place that they are available other than Amazon right this second until May 20th. So you guys are getting an upfront sneak preview of something that's not available nationwide at this point but will be by next week. Well again I appreciate you guys joining me for this really quick tabletop review of the new Dura Guide series Pathfinder Survival Guides by Waterford Press. I appreciate everything that you do for me, for my business and for my school as well as for my family. I'll be back with another educational video as soon as I can.